Hey, welcome back to the Johnny Says E-Bike channel. I'm Jersey John, and today I got something really cool. It's the Filoto H8 all-wheel drive e-bike. It's an e-mountain bike. It's a hard tail, doesn't have a rear suspension. But this bike, it goes for about uh, anywhere from $17 to $1,900, okay? You catch it on sale, you get yourself a deal. But for that price, you're normally only going to get a 750-watt motor bike and it's probably not going to be a buffang so um it, it's amazing what you're getting for the price on this bike all right so all wheel drive you got that front wheel you got the rear wheel right now i'm 1800 feet above the city where we started it only took me a few minutes to get up here maybe even 20 minutes at best okay so this bike really climbs and here's the best part about it and this is i, I kind of wanted to build my own bike a uh, dual motor right and you would have this bike here has pedal assist operates the rear motor when you hit the throttle it kicks in the front motor so technically you're only using both motors on your pedal assist and giving it throttle all right so that saves a, a pretty lot on battery right rather than running both motors at the same time all the time and i always like the idea of having that motor in the front wheel for that extra power to get up some of these hills i'm climbing uh, they're pretty intense. Some of them are like 17% grades, all right? So this bike got up here, no problem. That's not a green screen behind me. That's the city below, all right? I'm hearing a little uh, branches breaking off in the, in the brush, and I'm going to show you later on what I carry because of those sounds, all right? So let me take you around the bike, show you what it's got, and uh, check it out for yourself. Here we are checking out Filoto H8 all wheel drive pedal assist speeds in zero. There's no, uh, no throttle. It's dependent on the pedal assist level. Kick it into one. Give a little juice to get going. All right. As you can see that we're doing about seven miles an hour. Kick it in two. You can just feel it jump. Pretty much doubles to about 14. Pedal assist three. I'm gonna have to increase my gear resistance. 21 miles an hour. Pedal assist four. I still have pedal resistance. Okay, we're doing about 28. Pedal assist five. I'm in my top gear. Still resistance. 34. All right. Okay, 34 miles an hour. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I'm in five. I'm going to put this in three going uphill a little okay I'm gonna go in three now I'm gonna hit the throttle which engages the front motor and the rear motor from five miles an hour the wheels are spinning five to twenty in a few seconds not bad all right so that's it Pedal assist is pretty good. Let me tell you, when you give this thing the throttle, it really goes. It really goes. Pretty amazing bike for the price. All right, now for a close-up view of the Filoto H8 all-wheel drive. All right, look at the size of that battery. That battery is 22 amp hours. Uh, with both motors, I haven't gotten to see how far it goes on flat ground, but I took it up some pretty intense mountain rides, 22 miles. Uh, I drained it, but that was pretty intense, okay? So you have a 22-amp controller on the bottom there. Then you have another 22-amp controller in that bag. One is for the rear motor. One is for the front motor. I think it's pretty cool. They have uh, separate controllers for each one. Probably because they operate off a different system, pedal assist versus throttle. All right, so there's the rear motor. This thing has a Shimano 
tourney derailleur and it's 21 speed okay the front derailleur so we got three train rings there and i'll tell you even at top speeds 33 miles an hour i'm not ghost pedaling okay uh it's pretty pretty good to have that 21 speed it's got a really heavy duty rear rack i kind of like that the bottom bar is straight up as far as support most of them are at an angle it has a tail light has a brake light no turn signals gets the job done though all right this is a full rear fender the only issue i had on this bike when i was putting it together was the rack was a little out of whack so i kind of put that back into place and made it work a little aftermarket flashing light all right so we got the rack we got full fenders we have no suspension hardtail 21 speeds there's the rear motor looking good all right battery has a lock like most of them do now let's check out this front motor look at this view behind me i have to show it to you behind me in front of me on the side of me that's a pretty amazing trail there it goes up another thousand feet and then down a thousand on the other side we get some nice white capped mountains behind us as you can see there's Mount Baldy in the back. And uh, yeah, we ride all the way across the ridge of these mountains. This bike's going to be going there next, 4,800 feet in elevation. All right, so back to the bike. One thing I love is this headlight, kind of motorcycle looking, right? Motocross, 700 lumens. That's pretty good. Okay, that's a lot for a stock bike headlight. And then you can see this little aftermarket handlebar extender, eight dollars. Amazon can't beat it. I throw another twelve hundred lumen headlight on there when I ride at night. Okay, they give you these uh, mirrors that come out to the side. I prefer the ones that go into the end of the handlebars, but because they're they're solid. I would have to cut that with an exacto or change them out. So I'm not sure what I want to do with there. Probably have a spare set laying around. All right. So on the left side, you have your front derailleur. On the right side, you have your rear. There's your half twist throttle. And check this out. They have an ignition switch for the bike. So when you go in the store, boom, you take, turn it off take the key out they can't start your bike to me that's just something else to go wrong to be honest with you they have the cell phone holder pretty cool has a usb charger on the side so you put your phone on there plug it in charge your phone while you're riding the display is pretty basic it's black and white nothing fancy oh let's turn on the ignition first then we'll hit the Center button, and there you go. It's a pretty basic display. We have 74 miles. This is my fourth ride on this bike. It's a little basic speaker, Bluetooth, Amazon, $18. Thing is awesome. Nice to ride through the hills and have some music going. All right, so on the side here, we have our light button, horn button. It's pretty loud, actually. And uh, that's great for riding these trails because I use my horn all the time. And that's to uh, scare off any bears or big cat that might be waiting for me when I turn a corner. So you'll see on my bike, I have a marine air horn. Okay. That is in case a bear decides he wants to climb over the edge of this hill. And it happens quite often if he doesn't know I'm here or she all right so if a bear were to happen to climb over the side of this edge I would just blow the horn scare him off but like I said earlier I can hear some branches breaking in the brush down below right over there so I don't know if it's a cat I don't know if it's a bear I don't know what it is but I hear it all right so this is it the Filoto H8 all-wheel drive this bike is 
pretty amazing and i'm going to show you some of the trails that i'm taking this thing on um a rear 750 watt e-bike is not going to keep up with it on those trails all right so check it out if you got any questions shoot me an email johnny says ebike at gmail.com click like click subscribe and uh, come back and check out some more videos look at that view all right take care